Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and click the bell icon for notifications so you guys don't miss a single video. And now... Right as I, right as I hit record, <laughs> sparkles. <clears throat> um, Thor wanted to make a grand entrance at the opening of this episode. Hi. Uh, my phone's in my pocket, and the other hand is flicking a cigarette. That's not. You're right. I'm just a big Alanis fan. Thought I'd quote that Thor again. There goes the lightning. <laughs> He eats thunder and craps lightning. We made, we made some, Reaper made some hot six in a cup. <laughs> and by hot sex in a cup, I mean hot Cokes. You can hear the dulcet tones of her gulping <laughs> hot chocolate. Mm. Hold on, wait, wait, hold on, wait, wait, hold on. <sighs> Good content. Wholesomeness. Whole, whole, wholesome. Wholesomeness. Welcome back to Butt Books Anonymous, where we <laughs> anonymously fuck <laughs> each other in the butt. I really hope that the music from next door is, like, not really cool here. <laughs> Music. How do we anonymously f each other in the butt when it's just the two of us? You see that? Oh, I thought that was a face wiggling. It's a piece of tree. That's where the skill comes in. <laughs> all right. First of all, try not to mumble too much, even though Matthew's asleep. Or got a war rack rock. Talking normal. I just don't want to be too fucking loud. Oh boy. Well, we <laughs> we ended up discovering <clears throat> that it was a glitch in the matrix. Um, apparently, last episode, I had to restart the checkpoint because a clever old tear didn't want to hop across the light bridge and push down the other statue that was right there. And he left me to just bazinga bazonga bagonga the freaking axe all over those, uh, things. Because he just enjoyed the show, I guess. <laughs> tear, what a cock. I <laughs> mean... And I got the Nornir chest that was over here, too. So now we can finally keep going on our grand adventure. <sighs> Seriously, Kratos is starting to sound a little like Harrison Ford trying to do an action <clears throat> movie. <laughs> He's just getting old. Just... Oh. Wait, can I seriously? I don't want to lock on. Maybe you can throw those back at them. Ow. Ha ha. Ow. Where's my... Okay, I, I'm... I'm just absolute trash with a hot cocoa in my belly. There's another raven over there, but I can't do a damn thing about it right now. Alright, you get you get a boulder. <clears throat> oh, damn. <laughs> it's not, kill, but... Kill. <laughs> but Kratos, it's not just a boulder. It's a rock. How did you get over here? Ow. Where is that, the raven? Oh, there it is. How am I... How am I this trash? Oh, the dude has finally realized it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> and I blocked late, apparently. It's the light Oh, 
What the fuck? And now there's nightmares appearing? What the fuck is happening right now? I'm not prepared for this fight. Damn it. Fuck off! These fucking elves are tougher than last time. Well, he, they explained in the last couple episodes where over at once they've, you know, restored the light in the last game, now they were they they were able to kinda like get a little bit more stronger and stuff because of the light and some of them are doing it. Alright, you know what? I'm switching back to my previous talisman because fuck these taints. Uh Excuse me. The only thing about hot chocolate is that it makes you so damn, it makes your whole inside body and outside body like hot and sweaty. I don't get it. What are you doing to hot chocolate? <laughs> it's an aphrodisiac now. I'm oh, hot. I guess. I'm hot. And, I'm and so bothered sick. like Little Caesar's Pizza. <laughs> yeah. Could you fucking stop tickling my belly? Motherfuckers try to juke me, but they can't. They can't keep up. Atreus was trying to tell me that I could keep ricocheting my axe in combat to hit the enemies, and while I appreciate that tip, look at that tip. While I just <clears throat> while I only appreciate the tip, uh, I know you do. I um. That's why I'm a tip master. T tip, tip master, tip. tip. Yes, tip. Yes, tip. No, not you said tit. tit master. I mean that too. <laughs> I'm both. I am the tip. I am the tit master, you're just tit head from fucking <laughs> Little Nicky. <laughs> yes. I, uh, I, I had have enough of ricocheting my axe in the last episode, that's why I didn't want to do it, Atreus. I got tit- I got tits, tips, and tricks. Uh, yo, I got tips for days. <laughs> I got tips, tits, Multiple and tricks. Multiple tips. The triple T. Tip, tip number one. <laughs> tips, tits, and tricks? Yes, tips, tits, and tricks. Say that ten times fast. Tips, tits, and tricks. Tips, tits, and tricks. Tips, tits, 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 Another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield. There's some twilight. Where's Bella? Isn't gonna work. Oh boy. Um, well, I don't think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other. Had Frey or not abandoned the realm, a lasting peace may have formed. But now, can we really place all the blame on Freyr? This war started long before his arrival. But he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? And his choice. The wrong one. <coughs> I think Freyr is Freya's twin brother. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. I think so, yeah. You think so? You're the Norse pagan. Still have yet to read the books. <laughs> I don't know everything, okay? Well, not. Well, it's like it's only been like I think what a year or two that I've made this transition in my life. I, so. I think I'm. I think I'm correct in saying that, though. I mean, it makes sense because Freya and Freyr. Fre er, Freyr. Some Norse mythological Fry. experts. Fry and cheese fries. Pronounce. <laughs> fries and cheese fries. They're twins. They love each other. Yeah, we'll deal with that in a second. Oh, what, no freaking little squibbles for me to fight? Like, every, between every goddamn chest? That's that's what I was dealing with in uh, Spartal Pine. I want you know that my chest don't lie. I'm starting to get annoyed with these fuckers. And they're sliding down. They're all slimy oh. and exploding all over the oh, place. Oh, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> Birdie with a broken wing. Such beautiful... Yoink. That's beautiful artwork. I'm just destroying know, the ever living crap I would out be of it. I'm so angry. Can't help it. Balls don't fit. I mean, my axe can't throw. I mean. Shut up. That looks right. I'm sure it does, boy. You know, I've been solving puzzles long before I pumped your mom full of <clears throat> godly spunk. <laughs> yeah, this shield made me some god spunk. That's exactly what she asked. And I now I need now and you go up over here. Here, the last time we were here, we killed the Dark Elf King. That's unfortunate. I'd wondered what became of Spartan Elf. 
far too much off her. The dark elf king that we bossed, that we killed. I know, I'm trying to... I, I heard, honey, I got the got your buds in two. Again, I recalled the axe too soon. Dude, it looks like it's just peeing all over the place. Pee, pee, blue, pee. I can be blue, I can be purple, I can be yellow. I can be, I can be blue, I can be purple, I can be Allah, I can be anything. You Wait, what? <laughs> I can be God? <laughs> I'm the blue god, the stupid king. I am the blue god of dumbassery. Hello? <laughs> Seriously, Atreus never gets over that little behavioral bug where he, every time they walk through a door, he just takes a look to his left and he's so disgusted by the side of his father. Do it again. Hold on. Let's see if he does it again. Okay, he did it the last time. <laughs> you still hear what a pansy. Out there. I... I think so. It could just be the storm. Perhaps we can investigate. Once what kind we of storm? <laughs> We're in a <laughs> desert. Is that a sandstorm? <laughs> That's in the hallway, I think. Yeah, it's the kid. I'm just making sure they don't fucking wake him up. He's already been a struggle to put mm, to sleep. We live with a bunch of asshole neighbors. Tear, Jesus Christ. Don't step into my shot like that. <laughs> Scared he's the like, crap out of me. He's just like, oh, I'm so He's sorry. a big lumbering dude. There. Central he's chamber a god, not a dude. He's not a dude. You're a dude. He's You're a dude. Man. This is a man. Exactly. <laughs> a big, beautiful, muscular man. <laughs> Immediately Thor shows up and immediately starts dumping on Pratt. AKA Star Munch, AKA I'm deliberately choosing not to put on Jesus Christ. <laughs> Daddy has wandered in, I think I'll allow him entry. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm rambling on about Chris Pratt and you're just like, look at these two gay fat dudes. <laughs> yeah. Change the God subject. damn it. Hey Tyr, you wanna allow you or shall I take this one? A knack for interiors, these light elves. How do I get through this? Oh, here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No need to swing that thing around, alright? We all see it. <laughs> we all appreciate its girth. Alright? <laughs> God damn. Is there another one? Ah. All right, these two statues need to quit swinging these things around, yo. So I'm thinking. Maybe if we allow me to speed this up. Jesus, tear. The angle should work, Kratos. Are you sure? It looks a little off to me. Could you swing to the right? <laughs> Hold on, I need to actually. Okay, he says it's right, but I don't believe him. Oh, there we go. Well done. At your service. Because it looks like I'm supposed to grapple that thing, but I guess not. At least not yet. Ah, oh, the light of Alfheim. How stunning. Am I supposed to slingshot my way across the gap? <sighs> Nothing. What's wrong? I could hear Mother inside last time, but I can't anymore. Her soul is one with the light now, united by forces older than Odin himself. She is at peace, Atreus. I hope so. When Father went inside the light, he said he went he... inside the light of Alfheim. Yes. Yeah, I pulled some sporty shit. Of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated. You must tell me, Kratos, what did you see? That memory is for me alone. 
moment I felt only moments pass. It didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Petraeus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then. He could only imagine. Did you ever meet Groa? <laughs> Get off your phone. Many times. I'm looking at pants. Why? By this is vastly more interesting than pants. I need more joggers for work. Yeah, I don't know when mm. we're going to be able to get that. Oh, he's hearing the song again. Oh no, don't hum that song. It's his trigger. Kratos, zip your pants up. Jesus. <laughs> Whenever she would hum that song, it was making love time. That was the baby making hum. Dad, don't go into the light! I can't help it, boy. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Song of my shield maiden. She wants me. She calls to me. She wants me. Kratos, are you gonna cry, bro? <laughs> you gonna cry? She comes out, she comes out. She comes out sounding like uh, the purple cloud from Adventure Time. <gasps> what are you doing to my lumps? <laughs> Sound like I heard something. Your mom. Father, she's she's gone. How do you know? Yeah, don't go in there a second time, please. I don't think you'll ever come out. Wonder what's going on with that. What's up with that? We're almost there. Huh? Hmm? They've changed some stuff. Last time. There's all this hive stuff up here. So many dark elves. Yeah, and we destroyed it with our awesome muscles. <laughs> all this time, I thought the dark elves came. Was your mom? The dark elves your mom. Dear. Yes. Your mom. And yeah. also, your mom. <laughs> Are you certain that's the right question? I. What's the right question? Your mom. Is there a right side? Exactly. Of your mom. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this war? I'm gonna fuck your dad. That's the right side of the moon. That's a... Which, what? <laughs> Don't try and be funny and just be funny. Okay. I'm trying to find that red chest that I saw over here. Unless it was on the other side of the door. Well, you heard something, so now you're blind and deaf. <laughs> and apparently dumb and exhausted. I can't catch my breath. A red chest, you're colorblind. You're, you're, you're uh, colorblind to red, so now you can't see the red chest. God damn it. How does everything look gray to me now? <laughs> damn it, boy. Just starts blaming Atreus again. For everything. God damn it. <sighs> Kratos, dude, you need to work out more, bro. There's all these pointless fucking... There were, you know, there was a red chest that I can't get to now, and I don't know why I'm so sad about it. We literally come to Alfheim to waste time. What was the point of coming here? TELL ME! Seriously, what was the point of coming here? Oh, right. I forgot. We're gonna see the shrine. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but it's not- it's not down here now. Apparently. And there's a red chest I can't grab yet. I don't know how I missed my opportunity. There it is. Ah, you all made it. Welcome. Hi. Do you believe in fate, Sindri? Oh, of course not. 
You think I'd wash my hands this much if I thought that what I do doesn't ultimately matter? There's only one thing with any say over how we live our lives, and that's us. Ain't that the damn truth? All right, let's see what's in the shrine here. In plain sight. Wait until you see this. If I can do it, that is. Haha, <laughs> I still got the magic touch. Ooh, another magic door. Ah, we're trapped inside the crisp, yes. refreshing pilsner of <laughs> Miller Lights. <laughs> was relentless in her attempt to find him. She meditated oh. for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Groh's vision reached Odin. He sought her out, demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he had, apparently. Damn. Ironwood? That stuff. I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jotunheim? I know some giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical it's paradise. It's a people, like Asgard. It's not real. Presumably, Grow requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim. <laughs> this is not the MCU, goddammit. I know, but the fact that when they say, like, it's not an Asgard actual, is not a place, it's, it's a people. people. Hmm. It's a medical, a metaphorical place. Every so time they say that, I think of. It's a people. You assume too much. I. Best not to read into these abstractions so literally. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this hidden? Look, here. This is what we saw. It's you. Fighting in Ragnarok. No. I don't. I can't. What's this then? That's new. What the? Asgard is destroyed? The Yggdrasil. Broken? Or. Did the other realms thrive? Thank the lords. So then, we can win Ragnarok. Like it's a game. Okay, kid. We can beat Odin. We are not present in any of this. Exactly. We are leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there. And the elves. Champion. Okay. Whoever that is, doesn't matter. But for the first time, we know <laughs> Dad, it could be you. <laughs> Ah? Tear? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But, but we just saw No, Atreus. This is wrong. For once, the tall man is right, boy. You're talking to the guy who is the living embodiment of fucking fate in the ass. Kratos doesn't agree with any of this. He does not. I'm sorry they start kissing in the background. He found another one of those balls. And he just kept it. Keeps putting them in his ball sack. Oh, I have four balls. Bigger than Dad, I got more balls than you, look! <laughs> can't stop right now. Oh god boy, what are you but doing? We can win it. If Asgard is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. There must be another way. Boy, I came out of that Pilsner realm all fucked up, boy. Gotta carry me home. Hmm. So where do I go now? Compass ain't exactly clear on where to go. 
I have to go back this way then. Perhaps and of course. First. Agreed. Maybe you can throw those back at them. Ow! Damn, son. Finally, go back to the light for more answers. Seems like it's pointing us back towards this way. It's a path. How are we supposed to get back down there? Do we have to go back around? What the fuck? Usually in games like this, I just follow the enemies. <laughs> we whoa this oh great You know what, motherfucker? was an awfully low drop for a tuba very suddenly what is over here what the hell are these things doing in Alfheim for now. That was a big nothing. I'm just gonna ignore that. <laughs> Quickly now before more arrive. Ah! Commanded him to finish it. Cool. He's really worked up. Think he's okay. Rokas Atreus. Something seriously going on here.
This way. He wants to get the fuck out of here. panels around here that don't really do much and it's really aggravating. <sighs> I feel like I've missed so much in this game already because it hasn't given me anything else yet to... It hasn't given me any meaningful tools since the freaking Sonic arrows. Which is surprising. Tear! Alva. Ooh, giggity. Wabua! Okay, I'm pretty sure I blocked that. Ow. son have a boulder <laughs> Okay. Alright, alright, you know what? Well, that boss fight was not entirely too difficult. With her own weapon. Very nice, Kratos. Are you okay? no. Ooh, round of expedition. Shield round that hastens recovery when blah blah blah. Didn't get the chance to finish reading that. <laughs> and another frozen flame for the Leviathan Axe. He's not happy that he had to kill again. Oh no, a sad okay. tear. It's gonna be okay, tear. You've seen what is to come. I told you I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent? elf and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. What choice do we have? There is always a choice. I will not lead you to war. I won't. I'm not that god anymore. I don't want to fight. But with you three, there is no avoiding it. Your path leads to countless deaths, unimaginable pain and suffering. <laughs> hmm. Hard to argue with that, but you want survival and betterment? No. Atreus. Oh crap. Oh no. Oh no. Make the hell up. Oh, 
I know. I was expecting another uh, solo Atreus section. <laughs> Cuts his arm off. <laughs> I'm his father now. <laughs> Kidding. <coughs> ah, soul water. <laughs> And what was that look for, Tear Daddy? Are you going to... No, sir. <sighs> Damn. Hey, Tear? Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. Uh, I... No. I am sorry. I should never have come. We shouldn't linger. It is fucking loud in that room. It's fucking loud. Yeah, it is. Well, we're going to have to cut the episode here on that note. Look, I just wanted... oh, my aching back and my stiffing neck. <laughs> uh, hopefully the freaking obnoxiously loud music of our upstairs neighbors... No, uh, it's across the hall. Or whatever, yeah, it's not too much of a, a distraction during the episode. This is a bit of a serious episode. We... Uh, our son's been going to bed later and later and been becoming increasingly more difficult to put to bed. That in these past several days we haven't had the day like the daytime to ourselves to record as much as before. But uh, anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Uh, my name's Dude. This is Reaper. We are on the Dude Games. Uh, please subscribe. Click the bell. Do all the stuff. Thanks for watching. Uh, in the next episode, we will see what lies on the path ahead. Stay classy. We'll see you in the next episode.